So it's been a month uh, since I received my MK Sound S150. So I've had enough time to break in the, the speakers and recalibrate my home theater, position everything nicely. Now it's my time to share with you what I feel about these speakers. Finally, after near 30 years of wait, after more than a couple of dozens of installed using these speakers, I finally get the MK Sound S150 satellite speakers. These speakers retain the original design uh, from 1995 with a size of 12 inch by 12 inch by 10.5 inch. It's now been improved with a satin finish and the finish is gorgeous to me. This speaker design was one of the first if not the first THX certified speakers available in the world. While there are a little bit of tweaks here and there on the tweeter area, the overall sound quality and sound characteristics remain the same. As you know from the previous videos, I am using the MK Sound V12 Plus subwoofer for my system. That will come separately as a form of a written review for a TED publication and will be having the video as well later on in the future. After installing the MK Sound S150 and the V12 Plus in a 5.1 configuration, uh, I recalibrate my home theater, obviously, but this time I don't use any EQ whatsoever, so I only calibrate for phase and volume level. Of course, I don't forget about the distance as well. Unlike some people's claim that the high frequency is harsh, well, I've never encountered a harsh, a single harsh high frequencies from any of the S150 versions I've ever used in the past 25, 30 years. So I don't know where that's coming from to begin with. Secondly, when I'm listening to this uh, S150 using my uh, Pioneer SCLX704 receiver in pre-pro mode and use Maran's MA500 THX certified monoblocks, the high frequency is, again, it's very, very smooth there's a seemingly a broader soundstage with the pinpoint imaging. So it's it's not like a big soundstage and everything is wishy-washy. You can act easily pinpoint the imaging where the sound is coming from. Most notably is that when uh, I use Dragon Heart Blu-ray, when the dragon moves from front to around you and back to the front, uh, the voice of Sean Connery remains the same. It has the same heft, it has the same timbre. And on top of that, wherever the voice is supposed to be coming from, it literally feels that the sound is coming from there, even in the area where there are no speakers. Dialogue is as clear as ever, clear and present at all time. Would I highly recommend these speakers? Obviously, I mean, I have used these speakers for at least my last 24 or so home theater design. So yeah, if it's not good, I wouldn't recommend it at all. So if you're looking for something that's truly reference, this is it.